Hey there, so came up to see our neighbors off. They've been here for a few days and now they're heading back to their to their real life. Um, anyway, I came up here with my motorcycle and I hadn't ridden it for a few weeks, but it started right up and everything was fine. And I you know, pulled up behind their truck and put the kickstand down so the engine stops. It's like a safety feature or whatever. Um, but I didn't turn the key off, so the headlight stayed on and the running light and in the like 15 minutes we were up here it managed to get low enough to uh, not let me start so now I'm sitting up here with it on the charger um, all they had was one of these little uh, um, whatever battery tender things it's working pretty good though I mean about 15 20 minutes it was able to crank over but it just wasn't quite enough to start so I'll have to give it another 20 minutes I suppose and try it again Woot! All right, so it only took a couple more minutes. I decided I'd try and hit it, and it started right up. So, on my way home. So it is the end of December 2019. It's been a year since we moved out to uh, far west Texas, here in the Chihuahuan Desert, and a little valley called Big Bend Valley. We uh, moved in here. There was no buildings, no power, no water, no nothing. We've built a 600 square foot shed that we use to store our stuff and we've uh, used it for our water collection. We've got our internet right there, that little dish. It's not a satellite, it's actually just a uh, fixed line of sight type deal. Um, basically it's long range Wi-Fi. Uh, we've got 7.2 kilowatts of solar up and we've got another about 3600 watts that we'll be installing shortly. We've got a windmill that's capable of producing up to 2,000 watts. We probably won't see more than a few hundred most of the time, but it'll be a nice little, um, you know, extra bit at night or whatever, or like right now when it's a little bit windy. Um, we've got our temporary kitchen and uh, laundry room set up in our little 18 foot trailer here. I'm gonna go ahead and walk over there. So, this trailer, which is one of them that we use to haul a bunch of stuff down here, we've got our refrigerator. That fridge is one we bought back in 1995, so it's, it's got some years on it, but it works great. Um, we bought one of these little deep freezes because they're super efficient and we just fill it up with frozen stuff so we don't have to go up to buy produce and stuff very often. And then we've got an electric washer, well, of course it's electric, and an electric dryer. And then uh, we've got an electric stove, which I left the light on. I should turn that off. Um, anyway, so that's, that's this. And then we've got our RV. Nothing special in there. It's just, uh, you know, a 1996 bounder. Um, but that has actually been a really good thing because it gave us a place to live right away and, you know, shelter. So this is the uh, power in our, so we've got, each of those is good for five kilowatts. Um, I have some of the stuff kind of unwired because I've got that last one set up so that I can charge off of this generator here. Um, if we ever have a day that it isn't uh, isn't sunny out and or multiple days in a row really because we've got that battery back there which is a thousand amp hours at 50 volts so you got about 50 kilowatts there um, <clears throat> and we can that's a thousand a thousand amps at 80 percent depth of discharge so if that means something to you then that's good if not don't worry about it <laughs> um, anyway so that's, that's pretty much it. You can see over there we've got our rain collection deal. We've got about 1,500 gallons of water that we've collected from that one 600 square foot building that's left. I mean, we collected a lot more than that over time, but we've used a lot of it for washing clothes and stuff like that, and showers occasionally. <laughs> so I think that pretty well covers what we've been up to in the past year. And in the next year, we're going to be working on well, our windmill for one thing. So I'm over here behind our power building and basically right about here in this little opening, we're going to uh, put 
four pads down, one for the tower to stand on top of and three for the guy wires to hook onto. And then we're gonna run a uh, wire back over to the power building because we need to get the power back to the battery somehow, right? Um, so that'll be one project we're gonna do. Another thing we're gonna do is build a, uh, uh, a guest house over on the other side of this building. There's like a little road kind of thing that's been here. I don't know what it was originally, the uh, road crew, the people from, there's an organization called Poetry, um, Property Owners Association of Trilingual Ranch Incorporated. And uh, they have a road crew that comes around and makes sure that the roads out to our place is good and whatnot. Um, so they came out here and looked at it and they're like, yeah, it's probably one of the old, old ranch roads. So anyway, it seems to be stable and it kind of connects to where we built our driveway anyway. So we'll just go ahead and use that to put our, uh, our guest house on. And then our building is going to go probably anyway. We're not 100% certain on this, but it's kind of the way I'm leaning right now. Um, basically, we've got this, this shed here and it's 40 feet across. And uh, I'm going to basically turn this area right here um, out about 40 feet or so, 48 feet from this building into our, uh, our courtyard slash greenhouse kind of area. And then off to this side, um, you know, basically going from that corner out, we'll have a 40 foot by 20 foot uh, building that we'll use for our kitchen, dining room, living room area. And then over here, coming off of this corner of the building, we'll have uh, another building that's again 20 by 40. So 40 feet from this corner out and then 20 feet deep. And we'll have our bedroom and our uh, you know, utility room and that sort of thing there. So that's kind of the plans. And then we can get to work on you know gardening and getting our, uh, well, getting ourselves self-sufficient, I guess. So we'll have our power, our water, and our, and our food covered. And yeah, then we can relax a little bit. So anyway, if you're interested in following along and seeing what we do and <laughs> hopefully watching us succeed at some things, uh, make sure you subscribe and you know, help us out. Give us a like and a share and all that fun stuff. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.